Hello, and welcome to Lima Charlie. This video is a high-level overview of the historical insight feature which allows you to explore up to a year's worth of telemetry data from any and all of your endpoints. One year of telemetry storage and search capability only costs an additional 50 cents per endpoint per month and can be used in conjunction with your own data outputs. And a reminder that if you decide not to use this historical insight feature, your data never gets written to disk while transiting through the Lima Charlie cloud. To access a history for a particular endpoint, we will start with the list of sensors and then click on the clock icon for the desired endpoint in the Actions column way over on the right. Once the historical insight view is opened, we'll want to select a time to start our investigation. Data will load from the cloud and we'll see a list of events show up in the bottom of the screen. We can go click on any given event to see some details. Immediately the process shows up in the Graph Explorer and we can cycle through the events by using the up and down key arrows. You will notice the histogram that marks the separation of the graph view from the list view of events. The top bar of the histogram represents the data that is in the cloud for the endpoint over the given time period. The next bar down represents the amount of data that has been loaded into the browser. Below that is the data being displayed in the browser after filters have been applied, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. And finally, the bottom row in red represents the given event that you are looking at. Along with the histogram, you can open the window that is minimized in the lower right hand view of the area. In this window, you can toggle between event data, routing data, or view the raw JSON. Using the icons in the upper right hand corner, you can copy the JSON data to your clipboard, bookmark it, find the parent, or set the root here. Moving back to the sidebar, we can use a text filter field to do broad text filtering on the data that's in the browser. If I search for Google, I'll bring up all these events that have Google in the path. These are mostly related to software updates, but I think you get the idea. Below text filtering, we have a dropdown that lets the user choose which events they want telemetry to be shown for in the view. We can examine code identity, DNS requests, existing processes, network summaries, new processes, and service changes. If I only want to look at DNS re requests, I would uncheck everything else, and we can see the result reflected below. Below this, we have the Cascading Events Selector. This feature is a little more complicated than what we have seen so far, but is also much more powerful. If you mouse over the field, you'll be presented with a pop-up that provides the details on how this complex filtering works. It is loosely modeled after CSS selectors. To select an event type, we would use the dot selector followed by the event type. The pound symbol followed by an atom ID can filter on a data point. There is also plain text filtering, which we have seen before, but the power here is that these selectors can be combined to perform complex queries. A single angle bracket will indicate a direct child relationship and a double angle bracket will look for a child relationship across any numbers of levels. For example, we could look for a new event type of new process uh, from Chrome. Where did my mouse go? Uh, and then we could say with any child process, any level below of uh, DNS request to a Google domain and then we'll see that that's exactly what we have in this window here. Uh, we can also use forward slashes to create regular expressions out of our event types. By putting a forward slash on the beginning and end of the event everything between it will be treated as a regular expression. So now, using the asterisk sign, I am searching for existing processes and new processes with a child at any level below with a DNS request to Google. Uh, and that's what we have here. So that about sums up the high level overview of the historical insight view. You can always find more information in the docs or reach out to us at answers at limacharlie.io. Happy hunting.